What is creep? Concrete might seem to be a dry material, but in fact it contains moisture and water vapour within it. When we load the structure, we get some instantaneous change in length caused by the fact that the concrete itself gets shorter. But some of the load is being carried by water pressure and vapour pressure within the concrete, and that water and that vapour slowly moves to the outside. That then allows the rest of the concrete to continue to get shorter. And this is the process that we know as creep. What is the impact of creep on pre-stressed concrete beams? Well, pre-stressed concrete beams have a steel wire running through them, and this extends relative to the concrete. If the concrete gets shorter, the wire gets shorter as well, and this has the effect of reducing the force that's applied uh, to the concrete. And we have to allow for this when we design pre-stressed concrete. The early attempts at pre-stressed concrete failed because people did not appreciate that creep was going on. They used relatively low strength steels and in those days the quality of concrete was not good. This meant that they got quite a lot of creep uh, and this caused the relatively small amount of extension of the wires to be lost and they lost the pre-stress and it didn't work. In modern pre-stress concrete, we get round that relatively easily. We use high strength concrete, which tends to creep less than low strength concrete. And we use very high tensile steel cables because these extend more than the uh, reinforcing bars would. The effect of this is that even after the creep has taken place, we have most of our pre-stress still remains. And typically, we have about 90% of our pre-stress still in place once creep has happened.